Somebody said earlier, the coral definitely does seem a bit sparse, you know, very spread out, but we do certainly have our dives where we see uh, very, very high concentrations of coral. Uh, there's another Iridogorgia, yeah. as you can see right here. Beautiful. And then a bunch of other coral. Maybe we can look at this one here. Yeah. Awesome. It's That's super beautiful. beautiful coral. And this can get like really large sometimes. Do you know why they have that crazy spiral shape? Yeah, I'm not sure what why that shape. They're often very flexible. Uh, so if you have a lot of current, they actually bend a lot. So you usually don't find them in a in crazy current necessarily. Uh, but I'm sure that spirally shape probably has some kind of advantage, I would say related to hydrodynamics probably. Um, maybe that creates some kind of like micro turbulence also and that uh, helps uh, maybe gathering food near the polyps. So a lot of corals, their shape depends on the currents and are adapted so that they optimize currents and micro hydrodynamic at the centimeter scale so they can optimize food capture. That makes sense. You can go ahead and zoom video. All right, zooming. And correct me if I'm wrong, these are also known as firework coral, is that correct? On the ground. I actually do not know their common name, but so it's possible. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it would make sense to me. So pretty. So pretty. They're beautiful. It's, wow. yeah, that, that's amazing. That's not something you see every day. <laughs> we might see it every day here. <laughs> this, this would yeah, make that's a the case, I hope so. Too. 